Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1892 Half Crown, a lovely coin as we see on screen now. Firstly I'll talk to you about the design of the coin, and then move on to the facts and figures. The design here on the reverse shows a crown above the royal shield, quartered into the four parts, two showing the three lines of England, one showing the Harp of Ireland, and one showing the rampant line of Scotland. Around this shield is the Order of the Garter, and around the Order of the Garter is a lovely little pattern with some ribbons and roses surrounding. Around this is the legend reading Britannirum Regina Fid Def. This translates from Latin to Queen of Britain's Defender of the Faith, referring to Queen Victoria. At the bottom is a small depiction of St. George slaying the dragon. Either side of this is the date, 1892, when the coin was struck. This lovely design here on the reverse is the work of Leonard Wyan, son of William Wyan, both coin engravers. Now then, moving on to the obverse of the coin, we can see here a portrait of Queen Victoria. This is the Jubilee head portrait, that was done by Sir Joseph Edgar Boehm, whose initials can be seen just below the Queen's shoulder. The Queen is featured facing left and with a small crown on her head above a veil with also some jewellery, brooches and necklaces and earrings and sort of things on her portrait as well, adding to a nice detailed portrait. Around her is a legend, once again in Latin, reading Victoria di Gratia. This one translates to Victoria by the grace of God, linking to the divine right of kings and queens. When initially released, the Jubilee head wasn't that popular as people said the crown was too small, but over the years, collectors have come to love this portrait, making the Jubilee coinage even more popular. Now then, we will move on to the facts and figures of the 1892 Half Crown. This coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver, also known as 92.5% pure silver or sterling silver, as all silver coins were made out of before 1920 when they were debased. The weight of the coin is 14.14 grams, just over half an ounce, and the diameter is 32 millimeters, so it is a large coin for the time in circulation. In 1892, 1,710,946 half crowns were struck, making the 1892 a more scarce date, not a rare date, but just a harder one to find with a lower mintage than the average. The half crown was worth 30 pence, this is 2 shillings and 6 pence, or 2.5 shillings, as sixpence is half a shilling, and this is one eighth of a pound sterling back in the day. And back in 1892, a half crown was equal to 20 pounds and 62 pence today. So, whereas then you may have a half crown, now you have a 20 pound note, similar purchasing powers. The coin was demonetized in 1969 in the run up to decimalization. So, what is the value of the 1892 half crown today? Well, in poor condition, they'll sell for around 18 pounds, in fine condition, 35 pounds. In extremely fine condition, £120, and in uncirculated grade, £245. So some very nice prices there for the top end, but still an affordable coin if you want to add one for your collection or date run, just to get that lovely, lovely design of this Jubilee head coinage. Please do comment down below if you do have one, and of course, please do subscribe while you're down there. That means a lot to us as well. A big thank you to everyone for watching, and we hope to see you again soon for some more coins on Bits and Bobs. Bye.